Hi everyone, hi Pretty Cakes. Today I have my February favourites for you. My January favourites were a bit lacklustre, there wasn't very many products and it was a little bit short, but I've been trying loads of new products in February so I have a bit more of an interesting favourites video for you this month. So I'm going to get started. Basically, to start, ah sorry Frank, start with a hair product that I've discovered probably between the middle to end of February. It's the L'Oreal Text Texture Styling Volume Super Sizing Spray. I've seen quite a lot of this on blogs and Instagrams and I was like, I'm going to pick this up because anything that like says it's going to give me more volume in my hair, I am going to go out and buy. I do love the Bumble and Bumble Dry Spun, Dry Spun Spray? Um, you know the one I mean in the blue can. I really like that, but I was intrigued to see how this would do, and it's only about three to four pounds. It's a lot, lot cheaper. Have to say, I'm really sorry, but this absolutely blows Bumble and Bumble out of the water. People have been comparing it to the Arrive. Is that how you say it? That one that's really, really expensive. That spray. Wait. Um, but I have to say, because I haven't tried that, obviously I can't comment on it. But this is amazing. Basically, all you do, I'll show you. You just spray it into your hair. We want some volume, so into the roots, just kind of juice it up. And as you can see, like it just gives loads of volume. And you can also like spray it into your hair too and just kind of scrunch it up. So that has been an absolute lifesaver because we've had a lot of terrible weather throughout February. So this has just meant that when my hair's been looking a bit dull and flat, just a quick spray and I'm good to go. Next is a bath care product that I've absolutely been loving and it's the Soap and Glory, Soap and Glory uh, Sugar Crush Body Wash. Now this is a lot different to the usual sweet and girly scents that Soap and Glory do. It's a lot more fruity, it's very limey, it's very zesty, but I've been absolutely loving it. So this is a late Christmas present from my dad and I've just been absolutely loving it. It is really good because it foams up so you feel like you're getting more of a wash if that makes sense. But yeah, I've been... I just love it. I love all soap and glory stuff, but I've been keen to try this one for a while. I hadn't tried it, and it's just a really nice one, quite refreshing for in the morning. So, I've been really enjoying using that come shower and bath time. Next, moving on to some skincare that I've been loving this month. I've been trying out a few new skincare things, and I've been a bit more adventurous because I felt like I did need a little bit of um, some new products added in. And I've been trying out the Skin Doctors. No More Oil Tea Zone Control and I've been trying out their whole range, they've got a couple of like free products and I really like the Daily Moisturising Cream because I didn't have a Daily Moisturiser in my collection and when you've got oily skin, to have a moisturiser that not only moisturises the skin but also to help keep oil at bay is something that I really really wanted and I've just not been able to find one. So I've been really enjoying using it, I will pop the links down to it below and um, what it does, it kind of, it doesn't mattify the skin at all it just makes it feel really like nice and moisturized but then you can also notice a difference that you're not as oily throughout the day and it doesn't break me out either so that's a really good thing and then something else i've been loving from the same range is the pore um night refiner so basically what this does just sort this hair out so what this does it just kind of helps to empty out, and that's not the right phrase, but to help, you know, clear congested skin, to empty the pores of any, like, oil or grime and dirt, and it does help to, like, help to make the pores look smaller, because obviously you can't make pores go away, but it does help them to look smaller and cleaner. So I've been really enjoying that, so it's a nighttime one, and I have noticed that my pores have been a lot smaller, especially here, because this is where I get, like, the biggest pores, they've been a lot smaller, my skin has been overall smoother, less bumpy, and I've not had as many breakouts, so I've been really, really enjoying using that too. Another skincare product I picked up at the end of January is the Lush Mask of Magnum Inti Face Mask, because I went through a bit of a bad breakout between the end of January, beginning of February, so picked this up in like desperation, and it's very, um, it's got lots of peppermint in it, so it's good for like clearing out spots and helping to prevent them. So it's a really nice cooling mask, really nice to put on in the bath because your face just feels really cool and refreshed, really, really nice. So I've been really liking that. It's really helped to calm any breakouts that I've had and the spots have gone down a lot quicker and they're not as angry, so that's really good too. So really been enjoying using that and definitely would recommend picking it up if you suffer from like blemished skin. Another product that has been an absolute lifesaver this month is the new La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo Plus. 
They've relaunched the Effacar Duo, which is very well renowned for clearing up spots. Basically, when I first started using that duo, I really liked it, but after about a week or so, it just aggravated my skin and I found that I was breaking out a lot more than what I was when I wasn't using it. So I was a bit... I didn't know what to expect of Duo Plus. I was worried that it was going to break me out like the original one did. But there's something in this that obviously agrees with my skin a lot more than the other one did because this has been amazing for clearing up spots. It's also got um, an ingredient in it that helps to like fade acne scars. So any redness that I've had from spots or breakouts, it's faded a lot quicker and I find that my red marks aren't as prominent. Obviously, I don't think I've been using this long enough to say this is a miracle product. I've been using it for about four weeks. I will keep using it for probably another six to eight weeks, I'll keep using it, see if I notice any difference at all and then obviously then I can really come to you guys and be like yes this is amazing or no it doesn't work. But from what I've seen in the four weeks this has definitely improved my skin so I'm really looking forward to keep on trying this because it seems that whatever they've added or done to the new plus version is definitely a lot better for me than the original duo. So moving on to makeup, my favourite mascara of the month has to be the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mega Volume. I'm not sure if I put this in my January favourites, I really should like watch my videos so I know what's going on. But um, I picked this up because loads of you recommended it when I needed a new mascara and I have to say it's just a really really good mascara. It's got a nice thick brush, let me show you. Nice thick brush, makes your lashes look really long and thick but like not too clumpy either. And also, even though it's not waterproof, we've had a lot of wind, a lot of windy weather in February. And any time there's a little bit of wind, my eyes just water. So I was, one day my eyes were streaming. I expected to get to work looking like Alice Cooper. Thankfully, this stayed in place. So it's quite heavy duty as well, which is really good as well. So really been enjoying using that this month. A foundation that I've been really liking is the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. When I first got this, wasn't sure what to make of it, the whole BB CC Cream thing, it kind of just goes over my head, I find it a bit boring, all, it all seems very much the same. But this one, I thought it's Bourjois, their foundations are usually really good, let's give it a go. It's got um, three colours in it basically to kind of colour up your skin and take it to a neutral tone, so you've got apricot to like brighten up your skin and like to anti-fatigue, green for anti-redness, everyone knows green's quite calm and for red and counteracts the red and white for anti-dark spots. It's just a really nice product, it's really nice and light so it's great for lazy days, I think it'll be great for when we get warmer weather in the summer. Um, I've got the colour 32 Light Beige which is alright for I'm fake tan, I probably need a lighter one when I'm not fake tanning, um, but it's just a really nice um, low to medium coverage I would say gives a nice dewy luminous glow but not too shiny or greasy and it's also it's oil free so it's great if you've got oily skin too so I really like that I think that's probably going to be one of my staple products that I take to Orlando with me because it's going to be perfect for just slapping on walking around the park so you know you've got a bit of coverage there but it's not too he heavy and cakey if that makes sense. My final favourite product of the month is this MAC eyeshadow which is called Mulch it's one that I've had in my collection for a little while and it's been very unloved Basically, this month I've been getting into watching the Kardashians again on the Channel E, and I went through about a weekend of just kind of having a marathon catching up with the Kardashians, and those girls are absolutely gorgeous, but let's be honest, they're not the most natural of girls, they like their makeup, and all of them rock a smoky eye, and after watching one too many, I decided that I wanted to be like a Kardashian, so I started digging out my more smokier eyeshadows to create like a Kardashian inspired smoky eye look and MAC Mulch is just the perfect Kardashian colour in my eyes, it's kind of like a bronzy brown, really smoky, I mix it with the gold and just kind of put it through the crease, it might be a bit too much for everyone's kind of daytime makeup but for me I really like it so I've been enjoying wearing a little bit more eyeshadow this month and Mulch has been my eyeshadow of choice. So that was my February favourites. I wonder what March will bring. March is going to be quite a big month for me because I'm starting my new job, which is really, really scary, but also really exciting at the same time. Kind of sad in a way, but then glad that I'm not doing personal shopping anymore because I really wasn't very happy at the end. Um, so yeah, so March is going to be a bit different to say the least. I'm not quite sure <laughs> where it's going to go, but hopefully it'll be a good month and hopefully I'll be trying out lots of new products too. So I hope you're all good. I hope you had a fantastic February. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.